So 1975 are a band of variable or no fixed genre. They were formed in Cheshire in England in 2002. They've had a, a stable membership ever since, and they're fronted by a guy called Matt Healy. Their fifth album is due to be released exactly two years from today as I record this introduction. So when I reuse this introduction in future albums for the 1975 that won't be true anymore today is the last day of september in 2022 not a good day for a big ship to sail on the alley alley -o. hi my name's dan so this was the third album by the 1975 um uh, so among the many things that are going on in my life uh, i participate in uh, an album the week club uh, which is a bit like a book club, uh, but we do it all online, and instead of reading books, we listen to albums. Um, you'd think I've had enough of listening to albums with these reviews, but no, I have extra albums in my life. Uh, and um, a year or so ago, one of the members in uh, our Album of the Week club nominated this album. So that's the first encounter that I had of it. Now I've listened to it another couple of times for, uh, for the sake of this review. It's, I feel like it's, it's like a box of chocolates in that there's lots of different things in there, but actually it's a bit like a box of chocolates. If not everything was chocolates, there's actually some crisps and maybe a small sandwich, and some chicken nuggets and a little pot of soup. And, uh, cause it's hugely varied. Um, it uses quite a lot of, uh, modern pop recording, uh, technology and techniques. There's a feeling of space at times, there's samples, there's auto-tune is used quite a bit. Uh, there's uh, The drums can be fairly kind of poppy and tinny at times, and there's all sorts of processing done that, that makes it sound contemporary in that sense. But alongside that, there's also some other stuff in here, like there's a choir, the strings, the solo trumpet, there's... A nice kind of lo-fi piano sound that's being used. And also then there's lots of different styles going into here. So as I mentioned, pop, there's certainly kind of hints of pop here. I, there's a, a song or two that reminds me of Michael Buble, strangely enough. There's rock, there's electronica, and it's just, it becomes a big mush. Not a, Mush sounds like a, a negative word. I don't want that to sound negative. It's just... It, it, there's so many influences that you can't really pick them all out and say it's a bit of that and a bit of that and a bit of that. It's just so varied. Um, and it's its own thing as well in the same way. There's songs and there's sections of music between the songs. It's a uh, concept album, uh, particularly about, as you might guess from the title, online relationships. But it's got songs about other life stuff in there. It's mostly quite straightforward and, and not cryptic, but it is worth getting into. Uh, the, there's a real strength in the lyrics here. There's some great songwriting. Uh, there is some um, rudeness in here. There's some um, uh, rife language and there's some sexual imagery uh, things being talked about. There's also uh, reference to drug use as well in here. Um uh, it's, it's in some ways it's kind of all over the place and it's intense uh, it needs attention i've listened to it three times now and uh, i feel like there's so much more to get into it's i'm just kind of getting down under the surface but um, if my life wasn't full of doing these reviews i might be uh listening to this you know 10 11 12 times to actually get into it thoroughly. So it's an album that really does need a lot of listening to, uh, but I think it rewards that. Um, ultimately, I'd say it's pretty good, and I enjoyed it. So it's uh, the album made a big splash. Uh, you, there's a high chance that there are people out there watching this who know this album. Uh, I'd love to know what you think about this album. Please let me know in the comments down below. That's it from me for now.
One day the man, whose name was it's Snowflake Smasher 86, turned to his friend the internet and he said internet, do you love me? The internet looked at him and said yes. I love you very 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 much. I am your best friend. In fact, I love you so much that I never ever want us to be apart ever again ever I would like that said the man. And so they embarked on a life together. Wherever the man went, he took his friend. The man in the internet went everywhere.